In this animation we will be examining the effects of a shorted series resistor on power dissipation in the circuit. Here we have a simple series circuit containing three resistors and a constant DC voltage source. For the purposes of this example we are advised that all three resistors are of equal value. We are also advised that the total power dissipated by the circuit under normal conditions is 18 watts. Knowing only these two pieces of information, we are asked what the power dissipated by R2 would be if resistor R3 was shorted. To start, we review what we know about the circuit under normal operating conditions. The total power will be distributed evenly across the three equal value resistors in the circuit. This being the case, we can easily ascertain the power dissipated by resistor R2 under normal conditions, and we find that this value is equal to 6 watts. As source and resistor values are not provided in the question, we will allow the variable x to represent the circuit current under normal conditions. We will now express the power dissipated by resistor R2 under normal circuit conditions in terms of the unknown current and unknown resistance value. We will now turn to examining the circuit with resistor R3 being shorted. With resistor R3 shorted, the total resistance of the circuit is now only two-thirds of its original value. As resistance and current are inversely proportional, with two-thirds resistance the circuit current is now 3 over 2 times what it was under normal conditions. Relative to the initial current, the current now is 1.5 times greater than it was under normal conditions. As the resistance of R2 is unchanged, the greater current results in a greater value of power being dissipated for resistor R2. It is important to note that when calculating power, the I term is squared, so the resulting power is not only 1.5 times greater than the initial power, it is actually 2.25 times greater than the initial power value. Now that we have equations representing the R2 power under both circuit conditions, we can proceed to solve the example problem. As is evident from our previous analysis, the resulting power for R2 under the shorted circuit conditions will be 13.5 watts. This is significant to note as it is not entirely intuitive. It is also important to note that total circuit power has increased even though the number of elements dissipating power has been reduced by one.